All right, guys, they're playing Kale top lane on today's video. We're playing Kale top lane versus a Jarvan. And for the runes, we got Lethal Tempo, Presence, Alacrity, Last and Bone Plate, and Overgrowth. Now we're back playing some Kale. She's been very big meta the past uh, past few weeks due to a couple of reasons. That's actually a meta build right now for Kale that I've recently shown. Uh, this game, I want to go for the meta AP build and showcase you how strong that is. The matchup is actually not that bad, I'll show you. Like, Jarfin looks very scary because this guy has a direct engage. He can literally just drop QE down on me and it will be a bad time for me. But um, we absolutely hyperscale this matchup, like, very hard. And there's a lot of plays I can make around his combo. So if he misses the Q or E, I can use the Lethal Tempo to win the early game. If not, I can just outscale him level 6. Right, I'll take the uh, I'll take the opportunity here to push a little bit forward. So rather than letting Jarfin continuously like push into me, I will play aggressively early because I got the Lethal Tempo bone plate set up. And we also have a Fiego coming in early. I'll pop in the potion too. I'll use my E later. There you go. Fantastic. Now, before we truly go back to base, I'm just going to ping my jungler to help out. Very good. Nice. Guys, in moments like this, I highly advise if you ever get to kill your opponent like this, right? And you get very low, you always need to, help, to ask your jungler for help in most cases, right? So... When we killed this Jarfin right here, if I didn't get help by my jungler, I would never be able to push this wave under tower. And what happens is that Jarfin then comes back and starts freezing, and I will lose the lane extremely hard. So don't be afraid to ask your jungler, you know, paying them to help. There's a lot of junglers who do not help you, and it's up to you to direct them and ping them and let them know what they have to do, right? So... Now the wave is pushing my direction again because it's very large. And that's a good thing, right? Because we are very weak at the moment. We're playing a champion which scales extremely hard, but the early game is not the best. Jarvan's early game is fantastic. Guilt and innocence are a matter of time. And it's a so again, he's going to drop the combo out. It's okay if we get hit once. That's not going to fully mess up the, the lane, although it's better if I don't get hit. I still got my potion, but I do not use the potion yet. I'm just going to wait for a bit. Okay. So one thing which is a little bit, you know, unavoidable in the matchup is that Jarvan can infinitely poke me down with Q. And the mana cost for Jarvan's Q is very, very, very low. So that means that, unfortunately, I'm going to get hit by his combo a lot of times. It will happen. So I'm going to try to be a little bit mana efficient. And this Jarfin is very smart. He certainly knows that he's supposed to bug me down. Don't worry. The match of the early game is very hard. But trust me, the moment that I get Berserker's Greaves, so 1.1k, and the moment I get my ultimate, it will completely change the outcome of the lane into a good one. Um, there is a moment where Jarfin will hit level 6 first. Because I previously shared my XP. So now, now is the hardest part. Jarfin will get level 6 right now. He will get level 6. And I will still be level 5. Which means he can actually dive me under tower and I will actually lose. So now comes the hardest part of the lane. The most difficult part by far. Now things are going to be challenging. I need to get level 6 on these two. There you go. It's very good that I get my level up. Because this is the point where Jarvan can beat me. So now I have ult. Which means that I can ult his combo. So if he tries to dive me, I will win. I'm still not getting inside auto range against Jarvan. Because auto range is the same range for Q. Which is very bad for me. So I'm trying to stay outside auto range. Because I know that the combo will hit. There's the Q. All right, now we can farm. So keep that in mind, guys. Think about the range as well. I know exactly what Jarvan's Q range is. And we can play around it. 
Now, the only thing that I still need is to get my Berserker Screeves, and then we actually win the matchup. Okay, we can go in. And he's dead. So, do you see what I'm talking about? If you, uh, if you noticed, I kept my mouse straight on my champion. So, if Jothan was to focus me down, and he were to try and ult me, I could just counter his ultimate with my ultimate. Now we push this out the entire way. Also keep in mind to be aware, Jarfan, he could be standing in the brush right now. And he could maybe hit the combo on me. So I'm going to position slightly to the right side of the lane to ensure that if Jarfan comes from the brush, he's not going to kill me with uh, the combo. So he's not going to give me that special surprise, right? And I'll press my W too so I can heal back a little bit. So it seems like he's coming down from this direction. I think I'm probably dead. Very smart Jarvan right here. I think I'm probably dead. I did not see that one coming. Okay. It's fine. It's okay. This Jarvan is uh, using his brain. He actually walked the entire terrain around. And then with the intention of killing me, ignoring the wave. He played that well, but I don't think it's going to impact my lane. It's fine. I don't think it will fully impact my lane, because there's two reasons. I have my flash, I did not use my flash. And secondly, this wave will arrive before this wave gets under tower. Which means that if I come back and I have all my items and everything, and this guy being around 60% HP, I can try and freeze this wave and maybe fight him. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not losing the farm either way, so. I don't think I can. Okay. See what I'm talking about? Like I said, nothing to worry about. I have item advantage, because I just died. And he had no power to fully reset the lane. And not only that, we actually kill Jarvan. And this guy has no teleport, which means that this wave will completely die out. He's not going to get a single XP point from this wave. Which means that my lead is even bigger now. So after killing him, so after after dying and killing him, I still end up winning the lane. So it doesn't fully matter. The only thing is that Jarvan will now come back with more items because I just killed him, right? And I'm 50% HP, which means that he has an advantage against me now. So now comes the hardest part of the lane. We're going to have to try to reset the lane without dying. And I think what we can do is we can just... Oh. I might have an idea. I've got my jungler. I'm going to ask my jungler for help. Okay, this is great. He doesn't beat us both at the same time. GG, well played, lane over. I win. I will fully outscale him now. Now comes the time that I will shine. Because uh, we killed Jarvan. The wave is now pushing into the tower, which means he will lose all of the farm. And we also killed him. Again. So this is the best position you can possibly be in. There you go. I'm not going to go for plates because... He will be back by the time I get it, so it's not worth it. Okay, uh, we get all of that. And yeah, let's just walk back. I'm not going to sell my ward for ability haste. All right, man, this is great. Uh, I love how Jarvan is going steel caps to counter my autos. However, I am not going for the AD meta build. I'm going for the AP meta build. So he thinks that I'm going AD for the meta build, but that's not what it is. I'm going AP. So steel caps does actually function against me, but if I'm going AP, it doesn't fully work, right? It only works to some extent. We also have more farm than Jarvan as well. So things are going very smooth so far. 
We're going to start playing very aggressive now because we're about to hit level 11 very soon. We no longer lose against Jarvan. There's no way we do. Seems like he's having help from his uh, little jungler now. Alright, oh, so that's our plan. <laughs> that's one. I've no idea what's going on here. But I'm gonna have to reset either way, because Lee Sin's gonna walk around, he's gonna walk around the corner, and then he's gonna dive me again. So, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go for... Um, I might sell that? No, never mind. All civilians are under lockdown until further notice. It will certainly be a very hard game, as you guys see. Like, they're rotating a lot, because their entire team is winning against me. At the moment. But yeah, once we, uh, once we hit level 11, it will... Blue change. Uh, okay, he's gets away too. Uh, there's no Pantheon ult. Oh, I'm still getting stuck by this. Uh, Pantheon has R right now. Uh, I don't know why Pantheon doesn't ult, but it could have been a free kill. That's okay. Uh, Pantin can jump in on him. <gasps> no. No. There was no need for that. <clears throat> wow. There was no need for ult. Pantin could just hit W. He was inside W range. Okay, no problem. This is going to be a very hard game. <laughs> that Pantheon made a terrible mistake. <clears throat> okay, no problem. We got this. I'm almost, almost level 11. I'm actually going to ask. Maybe we can, maybe we can have Yumi attached to me. I'm going to ask for the Yumi. Instead of uh, Yumi attached to Kate, I think I can use Yumi myself now. I think that's far better. Let's push this out. I'll take the wave, get level 11, then everything changes. Yep. Finally. It's about time. We're probably going to get into a 1 versus 2 situation again. But I'll take the risk. Simple life. Everyone's losing, so you just walk top lane, right? Simple. I'm constantly in a 1 versus 2 situation. My teammates are still being pushed in constantly. That hasn't really changed. My authority has no limit. The law is um, I think that he will likely to get away. Oh, he doesn't win. I think that Lee Sin will be here, so just keep walking back. I don't I don't want to die to Lee Sin at the moment. This is not the right moment. Okay, now we go Riftmaker immediately. Very good. We finally got to Yumi. I am feeling very good about this game. I know that my entire teammates are losing, and uh, that Pantheon ult was the worst I've ever seen. Um, but aside from that... We are Kale, and despite being in a 1 vs 2 the entire game, straight up, uh, we've got I to a point now right where I can beat everybody. Shot. I'm actually very far ahead, too. I don't mind sharing XP with Yumi. Yes. 
God. Thank you. Uh, just more people here. Hmm. Yeah, that Lee Sin is definitely focusing me here. For sure. There's no doubt. <laughs> he was trying to prioritize me so hard. Even with a guy ahead of him. Or standing in front of him. Uh, I'll let that go. I'm definitely not uh, facing that off. Definitely not. Let's go for Codex. Okay, I need to run top lane as fast as possible. Now that Jarfram will likely jump away as soon as I enter the lane. Yeah. I expected that to happen. Let's grab all of this. I love the way how Yumi plays this out. Like, he's actually separating from the wave, so I get the XP for myself. Will I get it? Hmm, I will. I wish I could fight that, but the thing is that there's more people uh, grouped over there, and he's just straight up forcing it. Yeah, we will probably lose in head. Yes. Yeah, we will definitely lose that. We're almost with the Riftmaker, so we're, we're getting there. I need to get, collect a wave and then go top immediately. My has no limit. Okay, I'm going top immediately. I can't lose that wave. There's nothing going to happen in mid. My teammates are not going to die there, I think. Because there's no wave anymore. We've got the Riftmaker 2 now. So we're making good, solid progress. Good catch. And we push forward. It kind of depends on how my teammates will play it out. Another ward from me. Seems to be a Jarvan still. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to waste my time chasing that down. I'm just going to grab another wave. We can do this easy way. <laughs> Jarvan's still on my back. Now you're ready to prowl. <laughs> Difficult. I got a double, two versus three, GG. That's a lot of gold. I'd say 10 out of 10, this is worth it. I'm getting, I'm, I'm like getting, uh, I'm, I'm like farming gold for free here. This is super worth it for me. This will change the entire game as well. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is instantly go into either Ravidence or just go into uh, this item. I think I might go this item. Just so I can have the movement speed. Yes. Yes, I'm going to go for this item immediately. I want long range autos. I need the movement speed percentage. Attacking a military just a car is a capital offense. Let's go again. Top's getting wrecked. I'll quickly get the wave and then instantly move. Got it. Back 
back to mid. We're farming like two lanes at once. <laughs> Alright. Back to top again. Everything is going quite smooth. We're level 14 already. Maybe I can grab jungle camps here too. Well, there's not no one here, so I'm just gonna farm it out too. We have like a three level lead on the enemy team. Need to get another wave. Yumi is constantly uh, separated away from me because. He's doing that so I can get all the XP for myself. This Yumi is a smart guy. Okay, and red buff, and then I'm good to go. Yep. Oh, I appreciate that so much for the enemy team giving- or my team giving that to me because um, I needed that gold to get the uh, the item. I got that now. There will be no repentance. Look, My judgment is this fine. is such a good item. Believe me on it. It's going to change the rest of the game. I can take care of the entire enemy team by myself now. Um, I'm also about to hit level uh, level 16. And level 16 is where the biggest power spike is at. And hopefully with the level 16, I can turn it around for my team. My teammates will just have to play it safe for a little bit longer. Just a little bit. We got everything. I don't know if we can uh, actually grab this one. Nah, it's definitely been taken already. They will get Baron. No They're definitely doing the it for sure. Yes. They were doing it. I think that maybe I can move forward. Because I think they're all resetting after taking Baron. Yes, most of them reset. Clean. It worked. Strategy is working out. I knew that they were resetting after Baron. That's what most people do. Let's grab one more. And I would probably go mid if Soraka pushes. Yeah, I'm like farming like jungle camps and everything at once. Just because like my jungle is behind anyways. This is super valuable for me. Tough one. Uh, back to mid. 2.2k. I can nearly buy Rabidans. They'll probably focus me down very hard, but knowing that Fagar's bot lane, there's not much they can do. They push that out again, so I'm gonna force the blue buff. Yeah, I got that. They can have a nip if they want to. There's probably not much I can do because they'll get the nip anyways. Yeah, I refuse to go for more fighting. 
shouldn't have ulted for him. Three thousand eighty. Great. I'll take one more wave. What if there's actually more here? I'm curious. <laughs> I don't think this Lee Sin is very happy. No. Oh, too bad. Okay. Uh, that Pantheon is dead for sure. Hmm. Uh, this is very bad. I need to buy my item. I'm too weak right now. I have like 4,000 gold. So, yeah, I gotta go back here. It was so nice if I would have grabbed them all, but unfortunately, that's not the way it is. There is no innocence, only would have been so nice. I think that killing all three of them would have changed the game dramatically. At least I got Ravenous now, so. I'm gonna ask the team for showing up in mid. Great. I love kill, man. This is one of the reasons why. I got a full team losing and I still win. <laughs> that Lee Shin, Lee Shin should have known Soraka doesn't do any damage. So you can do like this fancy kick, but it doesn't really matter. I need to head back before, uh, before, wait a second. Got him too. Still Baron, real fast. Maybe we can do before Lee gets here. Wait a second, I'm just gonna go into specifically Zhania. Zhania is the way to go here because um, as much as I'd like to go for more damage, maybe attacks, you know, that stuff, um, Zhania provides me survivability, especially into an AD comp. AP, like, Vagar is the only guy who can actually burst me. Oh, my teammates are on the way soon. I am order. I am justice. Is there a blue? Huh? 
I just realized, but we have like 385 CS at like 31 minutes. Wait. <laughs> I didn't realize I had so much farm at like 31 minutes. <laughs> I'm almost... I almost have 400 CS at like 31 minutes. Okay. I didn't realize until now. It's actually that much. I'm not gonna ult for him. Seems like Lee Sin has officially left the game, I guess. Mm. Nice. We actually got to win the game with the full team losing. GG, man. Kill top lane. Amazing. But yeah, anyway, this is Kill Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube bit. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.